Hello for the last time, Ranger After School. If you've been following along with our Zoom schedule, I hope you're planning to join us tomorrow for our final ice cream social Zoom party. Bring your own ice cream and toppings. And that's why I'm here today to show you how to make your own hot fudge for your ice cream. So it's super easy, just takes about 10 minutes if you have all the ingredients. Just make sure that you have a parent or a grown up with you because we are gonna be working with heat on the stove. To make hot fudge, we're going to need two thirds of a cup heavy cream. We're gonna need a half cup of light corn syrup, a third of a cup brown sugar, a quarter cup cocoa powder, three quarters of a cup chocolate chips or other semi-sweet chocolate that you've chopped up into small pieces. And if you want a little bit of salty taste, you can have an optional quarter teaspoon of salt. We're also gonna need two tablespoons of butter and two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, I've also got a pot and a spoon and I'm here on the stove. We're gonna start by putting our cream, corn syrup, brown sugar, cocoa powder, optional salt, and about half of the chocolate in. All right, now we're gonna turn on the stove to a medium heat. Make sure you have an adult's help with the stove. And we're gonna stir it until the chocolate melts. So let's get stirring. And once the chocolate is totally melted, we're gonna put it on low heat. Make sure you have an adult's help with the stove. And let it just sort of lightly bubble for about five minutes and make sure to keep stirring every so often so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Okay, after about five minutes, we're going to turn off the heat. Make sure you have an adult's help with the stove. And then we're going to add the rest of our chocolate, butter, and vanilla. And we're gonna stir that in until it all melts as well. All right, and as it cools, it should thicken up so you can put that straight onto your ice cream or you can save it in any kind of jar, Tupperware, airtight container, save it in the fridge and heat up a little before you're ready to eat ice cream. Here is our final product. It's in its rightful home on top of a scoop of homemade vanilla. All right, bye-bye after school. Um, this is my last video, so I hope to see most of you tomorrow at our ice cream social, where we'll also be premiering our video performance of The Little Mermaid. But if you can't make it, I hope you have an awesome summer. To all the fifth graders, I will miss you. Have an awesome time in middle school and see everyone super soon.